Hello ladies and gents, I am Anadiffin and welcome back to Particle Fleet Emergence, a Creeper World Chronicle. In this episode we are going into Ties, episode 10. Launch. I'll try and maybe do it a little bit quicker, I've been spending quite a long time on each of these episodes. So, destroy all enemy structures. An amazing discovery yields unbelievable new tools for the crew. The scanners are processing. Very interesting. There are plenty of remains here, and it looks like whoever left them put up a serious fight. I detect structures similar to the capacitive particle busters we encountered in prior systems. Nice. Right. New structures are built a bit differently. Similar cores, but there's an extra module on each, Ogan. I'm sending the scan to internal structure to your console. Got it. Yes, oh yes. Elegant doesn't even begin to describe them. These st structures will take an in energy and amplify it. Then they should unleash a rain of antiparticulate shots. So we should have thought of this design. They have to fully charge and are offline while charging, but that's necessary to get the <laughs> energy amplification effect. But once loaded, look out, particulate. Supplying with energy will be a mission priority then. There's also other wreckage here. Let's get to it, crew. So, we've got stunners, a lot of Maya in particular there. Another ship pickup. Got the wolf, that's going to be useful. I haven't got that much, so... Build you and build a lathe. Don't really have enough. Yeah, Omnis, well, I can. But yeah, not that much energy. Gonna really need to push forward to this one. Let's build that. I definitely need the micro tank. Move over to there. And it's got those things again. Whoa! So it's, it collects a load, then bursts it out in one go. We've collected data designed for the Galcorp tanker. It makes for the micro tanker, well, look, micro. This should come in handy for extended combat and otherwise repairing remote systems. Excellent. That's good. Mounted amp gem on it. Let's grab these couple of cruisers. Ah, so it has a energy tank on it as well. Advance forwards. Advance up to there. We've tank retreat. You're not a frontline ship. The cruisers are, though, but... Move forwards. Advance take out that. Actually, mount an amp gem on, on the HQ. That'd be kind of useful. Particularly if I'm using it for advancing and attacking stuff. Let's 
being attacked there by my forces. I was doing quite well. I don't really have the energy. Good. Cannons firing. Energy is now being supplied to everything. Tank is destroyed. Yikes. Ow! No, the wolf got destroyed as well. Okay, retreat. You need to get... You need to have a discharger defending these locations. You need to get both the cruisers, probably the Joven as well. Looks like it's built, been building up on this side, which is annoying. Over Maya, yes. So they've got a lot of emergent. Come on, charge up. Get some more mire there. Go, go, peers. Okay, build up all those. One more Omni added to our database. Just go quickly that way. Again, mount am gems on both of these. Could destroy that. Good. Destroy. Good grief. I need dedicated lathe. The lathes need to be come straight out over here. Need the tanker and the wolf again. Good, that's actually that was destroyed. Let's see what this data cache has on it. This info cache is perfectly preserved. It is isn't Cased in metallic hydrogen for some reason. The cache design and origin are rather unbelievable. 
is Embraxion in origin. I recognise the external design. Only the office of a chief executive used caches like this. That is correct, Amicus. It also means the contents are encrypted and we have zero hope of decrypting them. As I recall in my studies of that time period, the decryption keys were tied to specific individuals, usually Chairman Abraxas or a member of his family. The cache would only unlock to whoever it was tied to. Exactly, and since every member of House of Abraxas is long gone, so is any hope of accessing this cache. I can only imagine what information it might have held. To have even found it here in redactor space is strange enough. It's fuck Tycon. Bring it to bridge and let Tycon see it, see it in person. Uh, why? With your permission, Chief Tycon, I suggest we give it a try. Alright, Ogan, I suppose a close look won't hurt. Here it is. It's scanning everyone on the bridge. Low level scan, nothing to be alarmed about. Scanning is complete. Ogan. Here I come. How did you know? Chief Tycon, the cache unlocked after it scanned you. I, I can access all the data. Huh. All right, what is in the data? It's... I, uh, give me a moment. Let me carry. The cache contains signed root code for our Galcorp systems. It's a set of functionality I've never encountered. It will provide capabilities far beyond any of us have ever seen. Thoth, your analysis. The modifications, if installed, will appear to allow our use of amp gems to enable various capabilities or alterations in our weapons and energy systems. Some of these tech enhancements are for our ships and weapons, and some, and some are for things we don't even know even existed until we encountered them in redacted space. Very good, Cami. Once, once you are composed, please inter integrate the modifications into our systems. Yes, sir. Modifications are complete. I have enabled a new tech button in the command console. Bring up the, to access the new techs. Is there anything else on the data, Director Cami? I'm still processing the rest. Even after decryption, it won't make much sense. I'll need to give more time to analyze it. Crew, let's worry about why the cache unlocked in my presence later. For now, we have a fight on our hands. Tech. What do we got? So, mine production increase would be useful. Ah. Nice. Ah, so it increases efficiency while loading it, and it has to actually an increase. That's rather good. So energy increase, that's good. Omni reactors, what's that? Energy reactor. Interesting. Mine discharges. So mines can actually discharge things themselves. Defensive struct. Hmm. Let's control. Benign emergent. Hmm. See, benign emergent might be useful. Those omni cannons. Cannon to each Omni. What burn? What's that? Ability to remove terrain. Yeah, it's not so useful, I don't think. With building increase. Actually, I think energy range increase would be very handy. I'm very, very limited in range on this mission. So that's being increased, which is nice. Land production increase. Um, let's go to the discharge, actually.
Omni reactors. What's that? An internal reactor. So that does mean they can actually supply, power themselves now, which would be very nice. Set emergent rally point. I think send it down here for the moment. Here goes the emergent. Move all these forwards. Go particulate. Go benign emergent. Forward, advance, destroy. Good, take that out as well, the emitter. Good, got on the Omni there. Advance again. Good over Maya. Let's get another grabber. Put another Maya there. Come on. So that Maya will then fire out. So it's good. Can't, just can't strip that out. Uh, lathe. Maya, yes. Grabber. So I can now fire at that. And look at that antiparticular cannon. Good grief. Yep, that antiparticular cannon is definitely doing work. Go Omnis. We should probably put an Omni cannon on, I think. Mine cannons, yeah. Yeah, go for only cannons. Let's build the lanes again. Excellent. Lathe's now in there. Go the other Omni.
actually, yes, these Omni are going to do well. Send my, my entire fleet over now. Now build a hammer, because the hammer will just ram straight into that lot, disabling the majority of it. What's interesting is these stunners barely have any, almost no defences around them. We're going to very, very easily be able to break through. There we go. That's those destroyed, and the cannon there is also defending itself nicely. Set emergent rally point over there. That's going to work quite happily towards target. Hammer, move move up. The hammer just should absorb all the damage. Yes, it's absorbing a lot. Not all of it, but quite ridiculous sum. Okay, lathes back there. Cop HQ, move up. You know, making a hole would be kind of useful. Who's up? Just go in and get yourself killed. I want that for attack. I like a rock burner, please. Send through that. I'm just trying to break into this is kind of intense. Get both the lathes. They're hitting a huge amount there. It's just snaking towards it, though. Move forwards. Break. Why is it taking so much such a beating? Excellent. Yeah, it's gone all yellowy. A 
Advance everyone forwards. Massive amounts of destroyed there. Still, just doing well. Advance again. And get all the lathes in close. Should be able to actually strip it out. I knew we would prevail. We need to innovate, but I knew this crew would succeed. We have learned. Have we learned anything else about the system, the information, the Abraxian cache? Yes, the derelict structures we have encountered are all Abraxian technology. They were built as part of a secret initiative conducted over decades by House Abraxis. It all took place here in redacted space. That explains why the tech is unfamiliar to us. But why? Does the information reveal the purpose? Anna, perhaps you would like to explain? Why would Anna need to explain? It's alright, Cammy. Everyone should know that it is absolutely necessary to keep the secret that I am about to tell you. It was necessary to... Spatial disruption detected. Rift space incursion imminent. We need to get out of here. Now. Jump to safety. Engage. I did terribly that mission. Oh well. However, there's that one completed. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Particle Fleet Emergence with myself at Anna Diffin. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like and or comment below, as it's always great to hear from you lot. Otherwise, that's it from me for now, and I shall see you next time. But until then, I'm out. Goodbye.